Well, hi everyone. I am back and I am doing another review on this unit. So this is a beautiful Columbus by Palomino. This one has four slides and it's a gorgeous RV. And by the way, I am out here at Colonia del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas. And actually this unit is already sold. Uh, my husband did a review on this unit and it sold. So I don't blame them for buying it that fast. It's a beautiful unit. And this unit has tremendous amount of space. So let's go take a look at the space out here. Let's open this up. So here we have this huge space in here. I am halfway inside of this storage. Huge. This is awesome. You can fit a lot of stuff in here, toys um, and all your equipment in here. Wide, wide space. So you have several doors to give you access into the space. So you have about one, two, three, four, three doors, four with that side on the other side of the RV. Very nice. So as you can see, straight ahead you can see there's a TV mount so it allows you to have a television set here in your storage and you will be able to open that door open flip out your TV and hang out outside here you have your connections out here for your water hose and whatnot and of course this is the other end of the storage again as you can see it is massive it's really nice lots and lots of space in here this unit has a GVWR of 16,150. And so we would recommend a one ton truck, at least. The cargo capacity is 2,410. Axle ratings are 7,000 each, so you're a total of 14,000. So the tire size that this unit has is 16 inch G rated tires. So let's go take a look at the inside of this beautiful unit. Very shiny. I really like the colors on this. So this unit here has the handle up high up here on the top. Like I've mentioned before in my other videos, I prefer to have my handles a little lower um, just to give you a little bit more stability. This unit is beautiful. It is gorgeous. So this is going to be your Columbus by Palomino. It's got full body paint and it has four slides. It's the rear living room, front bedroom. Lots of nice detail. Very nice. Then you have your, uh, your standalone kitchen table here and it's got your little flip clip top there. I love the seating here. Really nice. It gives it a lot of style. So of course you have your recliners right here. So I wanted to show you the uh, how much these recliners did recline and they are electric. So here's one that's fully reclined. So it's pretty much got you in a position where you're laying down so that's pretty comfortable. This one is just halfway reclined, so I really like that. Then you have your two cup holders, and then you have your storage here for all of your remotes. Then you have your sleeper sofa. You have one table side here next to the sofa. You got some storage here, and you can fit some items in there. And these couches are nice. Um, a little contemporary. I do like them. Um, I prefer maybe a little bit of a darker shade, but I do like that it is contrasted. So you've got your dark and your light tones. So very nice. So let's take a little panoramic view of it standing here. Very nice unit. I love all the cabinetry. So you have some up above the sofa and you have some over in the kitchen area. And take a look up a little bit higher and see the light fixtures here. You have your ceiling fan up here. 
and a really nice light fixture. That's really, that's really good looking up there. I like that. You have your entertainment center here. So you have some cabinet space, cabinet storage up on the top. And you have your fireplace right here. You have some space in there so you can put maybe some DVDs or books or some uh, other electronics. So you see your island here. And it is a flush slide as you can see here. So it's got a carpet material there. Then you've got your flooring. And over by the refrigerator, it also has the flush side as well, right here. So let's take a look back here and see what is behind this beautiful island. So we have here what appears to be a dishwasher. So you have a cabinet space in here deep cabinets and let's see and here we have your dishwasher so that'll take some work off of somebody's hands there I would just much rather wash the dishes myself I'm old school that way I just feel like it just gets them out of the way I've used dishwashers before but it tends to sit there after they've been washed and then you still have to go back and put them up so I'd rather just wash them dry them get them out of the way that's my preference but it is really nice and convenient to have your dishwasher here in your RV you can just put your dishes in and get them washed take off go have some fun and then come back so these drawers also pull out all the way to the back so you've got your three drawers here so they're all pretty much the same size here probably about four by ten by fifteen there the four inch deep and you have your cabinets up here your storage cabinets up on the top and some more shelving space over on the right so this microwave is a, is a convection style microwave this is a really nice size microwave you have a little window that looks out. Then you have your counter space on both sides of this stove. So as you can see, it's the glass top stove there. It's the induction stove. And you've got your pan there, so you can, it's a two burner, but you definitely have a lot of space on both sides of your stove top here. I, like I said, I'm old school, and I think I, would, I prefer gas so that's just my preference there they do offer a plug an outlet back here and then you have your three drawers here so you've got the two same size drawers as across a little wider there we go so this is about maybe three inch three inches deep not as deep but it is a good a good width and a good depth in there. So let's see here. This one's a little deeper, maybe for your pots and pans. So you're wondering, where am I going to put all my pots and pans in here? So I'll show you that in just a sec. But here we have your wine cooler. Beautiful wine cooler. I like that. Can't go wrong with that. So, as you can see, now we're going to be stepping into your large pantry. Oh, this is beautiful in here. Let's go check this out. So, as you can see, this one has quite a bit of storage up here on the top. Lots and lots of storage. So now, you can put your pots and pans in here. You can put all your pantry food, your items blenders, rice cookers, whatever you want to bring in here. Plenty of counter space in here. So you have all of this. I mean, I'm actually inside of this pantry room. So you have two shades here. But here is 
the rest of your cabinets up here. So you've got plenty and plenty of cabinets. You have room up there on the top, so if you want to put some items up there as well. There's plenty of room. It's an interesting looking backsplash back here. Really nice. It just has the overlapping. It's really pretty. And you have another cooler in here. So you can say it's like a pantry, little maybe a little bar area. <laughs> Very nice. Plenty of drawers. So you've got five drawers here. And then you have more storage below. And the storage goes throughout. So we're going to look in here and it goes all the way across. So you can access whatever you have behind these doors through either doors here. And we're going to do the same thing here on this side. You can access anything, whatever you need to access through either doors. This is a beautiful big pantry. And it slides like so. So you don't have to really have it open all the time. You can just close it up. Here's your pantry, residential style refrigerator. Your induction stove top, entertainment, and plenty of storage. Okay, so let's go take a look here. So here you have your control panels, and you have another cabinet up there on the top. And you have some sort of a storage here, a little coat storage. This fits a trash can in there, so as you can tell by the depth of it, that's about how deep it is. And you've got your hooks up on the top. I like this. Then you have your sweeper back right in there, so you can just sweep everything into that. So let's go on upstairs and go into the bedroom. Wow, this is really nice. I like this. So you've got your dresser space up here with some storage up along on the bottom. You got some storage there, and you've got some storage space up here on the top. Television set, and you've got six drawers here. They're deep. The length isn't as long, but it's very wide. And they do come out all the way. So let's pan around and see this. And this is a king size bed. And you've got some shelving up along up here on the top of the bed, as you can see. So you can put whatever it is that you need to put up there right up above the balances there. And these are your day night roller shades. There's no headboard, as you can see, there's three windows. I think I'd want a headboard. Then you have your little, small little nightstand here. So you can put your phone and medications or whatever it is that you need to put there. And here's your sliding door. So as you close it, you have a full length mirror on here. So you can see this it is all the way down. It's nice. It's always good to have a full length mirror. You do have some space here on this side of the bed. So let's go into the bathroom. So this has your sliding door. So and we can be able to see uh, the space as far as your side on the side of your bed. Here you have your porcelain style toilet and your residential size shower. Beautiful shower. Plenty of space. The shower fixtures, those are really nice. What I like too is one of the other units I did, they also had a sitting bench, the flip bench right there. So that's really nice. Here's the counter right here. It's a lot of counter space. And as you can see, the trim work right here. 
and you've got plenty of cabinets here on the bottom. That's nice and deep. Plenty of uh, space to store your linens. And you have your a lot more space here. <clears throat> and you have your drawers here. So you have two drawers here. So this is a his and her sink right here. Lots of counter space. Then you have your other cabinet space right here. So you do have plenty of storage in this unit. Over on this side, you do have somewhat like a little medicine cabinet right here. Let's take a look at this beautiful setup here with your stackable washer and dryer. So if you choose not to have a stackable washer and dryer in here, you would have a huge tall closet. You don't really need to give up that space because behind these doors, you have a massive closet. Look at this. You can actually walk into this closet and you have your storage up here on the top. And you have your shelves. And of course you have your rod up there so you can hang whatever it is that you need to hang. Beautiful, beautiful. So you got your towel warmers right here. That's a nice touch. It's really nice. You can see your washer and dryer from here. It would have been nice if they would have put a little wall here just to, you know, block the view of the side of the washer and dryer. It doesn't look bad, but I think just putting a little wall there, a little separation would look good. Just finish this off, but it doesn't look bad. So I'm going to pan around coming out of the closet. You can take a look at this beautiful bathroom. Look at how big this is. This is bigger than some bathrooms and some apartments, huh? Really, really nice. And luckily, this unit was powered on as they're getting it ready, um, picking it up tomorrow. And uh, like I said, it's been sold but we were lucky enough to have plenty of lighting in here so we didn't get those dark shadows as we're videotaping these. And I really like this dresser space over here. Lots of countertop space there to put whatever it is that you need. And then you've got your full length mirror, your three windows, and the colors, like I said, you've got your totes, your beige, and your dark brown. So, really nice. Here is the storage under the bed. So here are the other two chairs that would come with your freestanding table. It would have been nice to be able to put all four of those uh, chairs in there, the other chairs, because they're a little bit more stylish, but they are a little bulky, so of course, they may be a little crowded over there. They may not fit, but you've got a lot of storage in there under the bed. So I think the features on this that I really liked were, of course the colors are really nice, and your beautiful pantry, your beautiful large pantry in there. So that was, that was a big, big plus there. Look at how much space, you could even leave it open and it just makes your whole kitchen look a lot more open. These are big pluses for me. And I hope that you like this video. I appreciate any feedback, suggestions, or comments. And I will be working hard to bring you some more videos. And I'm going to get a little bit more detail on some features of these RVs. I'd appreciate suggestions on what units you would like me to review. Thank you guys, and we will be seeing you soon. Take care.